Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Happy Sukkot. Happy Sukkot. Hak Sameach. Hak Sameach. We're here to celebrate the Sabbath and also Sukkot begins. Yes. So this is the 15th of Tishrei. Uh, two weeks ago was Rosh Hashanah Yom Teruah. Mm -hmm. And here we are at Sukkot already wow. for the next eight days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. Thank you, Yah, yeah. for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Yes, your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah. Bless you, Yahuwah, our Elohim. We bless your name, Yah, for the heavens are your throne and the earth is your footstool. We bow before your name, O Yah, in this set-apart place, giving you thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Yah, for bringing us to the season of Sukkot. We thank you, Yah, for the celebration of tabernacling with you, living with you, making our dwelling with you, and you making your dwelling with us. We are so grateful that you've blessed us to live to see another season of Sukkot. We are thankful, Yahuwah, for your greatness and your kindness. We are thankful for the blessing of knowledge and giving us insight so that we understand what the Word is saying. We thank you, Father. Yahuwah, we ask your blessing of each and every one of us, all your believers, Yahuwah, and all your creation, Yahuwah, that you bless us with peace this season, that you bless our lives to have a good life this year, to have a blessed life this year with no sickness nor poverty, but to be strong and healthy and to be more prayerful. Help us, Yahuwah, to praise you more. Help us to serve you better, Yahuwah, to get closer to you. Please, Yah, draw us closer to you, Yah, as you draw nearer to us. We are thankful, Father, for all that you do. May you bless this day, this Shabbat day, with peace. May you bless our week of Sukkot, Yah, and help us to always remember that you are with us. You are everywhere and you know all things. We are grateful for you, for you are the sovereign of the world. You are our sovereign, Yah. You preside over us, Yahuwah, your set apart, redeemed ones. We are thankful for your goodness and your kindness for this season. Blessed be your set apart name forever and ever. So be it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yah. Thank we you, We want to continue on with the Shema together. Shema Ma Yisrael, Yahuwah, Eloheinu, Yahuwah, Echad. Hear, o Israel, Yahuwah, our Elohim, Yahuwah is one. Blessed be the name of his esteemed sovereignty for all eternity. And you shall love Yahuwah, your Elohim, with all your heart, and with all your being, and with all your might. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart, and you shall impress them upon your children, and shall speak of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, and shall bind them with a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontless between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Blessed be Yahuwah. 
Thank you, Yah. I want to bless the children. So we give thanks to Yahuwah for all the children, all of our children, and all the children of the world. Thank you, Yahuwah. Marukata Yahuwah, Elohim Malek Alam. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, sovereign of the universe. We thank you, Yah, for all the children. They're all wonderful gifts from you, Father. And we praise you and thank you for them, Father. And we thank you for your care for them and for your direction for their lives and all your provisions for them, Yahuwah. Thank you, Yahuwah. We thank you so much for the children. Thank Let you, all the boys bleed, blessed like a crime in Manasseh. So be it. So be it. And may all the girls be blessed like Sarah, Rivka, Leah, and Raquel. Thank so you, be it. So be it. Let your blessing come upon the children this day and always. always. So be it. So be it. Blessed be the name of Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Now, now and forever. Hallelujah. Uh, before we continue, we want to uh, do a praise offering to Yah. Uh, Sukkot is our time of rejoicing. It's the festival of rejoicing. It's the ingathering at the end of the year. It's the, um, the last of the feasts. Um, we finish our Torah today. Uh, we're commanded to rejoice and rejoice only before Yahuwah for these eight days, for all that is done for us, all that he's given us. All his provisions and his kindness and his care. Thank you. So we're, we're rejoicing. Praise and so we rejoice with you all for what he's done Thank for you, you as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um. Oh, we'll do the praise. Okay. I just want to the, do the scripture. I find that um, scripture. No, we can do the praise first. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah. Thank, Thank you, Yah, for you, you are, are good. good. For, for your kindness, kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good. For your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good. For your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yah, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. We're saying it seven times each each praise. The next praise is praise Yahweh of hosts, for Yahweh is good, for his kindness is forever. Praise Yahuwah of hosts, for Yahuwah is good, for his kindness is forever. Praise Yahuwah of hosts, for Yahuwah is good, for his kindness is forever. Praise Yahuwah of hosts, for Yahuwah is good, for his kindness is forever. Praise Yahuwah of hosts, for Yahuwah is good, for his kindness is forever. Praise Yahuwah of hosts, for Yahuwah is good, for his kindness is forever. Praise Yahuwah of hosts, for Yahuwah is good, for his kindness is forever. Next praise will be, um, blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Okay? Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, for you, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. 
praise Yah. And the last one. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you, Yah, Yah for, for you are good. good. For, for your, your kindness, kindness is everlasting. everlasting. So let's start now. Thank you, Yah, for you, you are good. good. For, for your kindness, kindness is everlasting. everlasting. Thank you, Yahua, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yahua, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yahua, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yahua, for you are good, for your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yahua, for you are good. For your kindness is everlasting. Thank you, Yahua, for you are good. For your kindness is everlasting. Blessed be the name of Yahua, now and forever. The praise offering that we just offer is really a typical offering that is done um, instead of offering the rams, lambs, and bulls, we offer the praises of our lips. Um, most of the times when we're doing this praise, I, I, I would smell a little sweet fragrance. And that was telling me that Yah's accepted our praise. So in your own time, when you want to praise them, get into the habit of giving them a praise offering and a thank you offering. Um, it does, it, it'll do you good. It does us good, Praise you know. Yah. Yah is the greatest. Hallelujah. We can't thank him enough. We can't Praise thank him enough. enough. Praise Yah. We're going to do our Torah reading. Got several readings today. Okay. Uh, I was asking you, do you have Zechariah 14 in your list? Do you want me to read Zechariah 14? I, I like it. Well, it mentions um, Festival Tabernacle. Oh, okay. Number. Yah is the greatest, and we thank him ever so much. He is awesome. There's none like him in all the earth. We can't praise him enough. He is the savior of the world. There is none other. There is no other savior besides him. And we bless him. We bless his name forever and ever because he is good. He is good. He's compassionate, merciful. He's kind. He's forgiven. He is awesomely righteous. He is our light. He's the lamp to our life, the light in our heart. We have to praise him. We have to live in praises of Yahuwah. He deserves our praises. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not going to take time to read it, but okay. we, can, we can just suggest that it's written in, in Zechariah 14. Um, <laughs> when you get a chance, please read Zechariah 14. Um, it tells you about the Gentiles having to come to the Festival of Tabernacles. And he says if they don't come, then the plague will be upon them. Um, it is very important that the Gentiles come or attend the Feast of Tabernacles. And, Nacles, and I will tell you um, why this is. And it's called Happy Sukkot because Sukkot is the Hebrew word for booth, right? Mm -hmm. That we dwell in booth. And Mike will explain more when he talks about Sukkot. Sure. But um, I'll explain why the Gentiles are invited to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Torah blessing, and then we'll have the Torah readings. Bless Yahuwah the Blessed One. Blessed is Yahuwah, the Blessed One, for all eternity. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, sovereign of the universe, who has chosen us from all peoples and given us his Torah. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, giver of the Torah. Thank you, Yah. I want to, uh, our, our last part is uh, the end of Devarim. And so I want to finish that, and then we'll do a couple of Sukkot readings. Uh, so this is Devarim 34. The end of the book, end, end of, of the, the Torah, mm -hmm. is Yah. And, uh, and we'll be picking it up again in Bereshit. Um, so we renew our, uh, ourselves again. But every the year Torah. we're reading the complete the, Torah. The five books of the Torah. 
So right. now we end the five books. We end the ring. And we start back at Genesis. Bereshit. Bereshit. Right. Praise Yah. So they were in 34. And Moshe went up from the desert plains of Well to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pishgah, which is opposite Jericho. And Yahweh showed him all the land of Gilad as far as Dan, and all Naphtali in the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Yahud as far as the western sea, and the Negev, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zoar. And Yahuwah said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Yitzhak and Yaakov, saying, To your seed I give it, and I have and I have let you look at it with your eyes, but you do not pass over there. And Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, died there in the land of Moab, according to the mouth of Yahuwah. And he buried him in the valley of the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor, and no one knows his burial place to this day. And Moshe was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dim, nor his freshness gone. Praise you. And the children of Israel wept for Moshe in the desert plain of Moab 30 days. And the days of weeping and mourning for Moshe were completed. And Yehoshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom, for Moshe had laid his hands on him. And the children of Israel listened to him and did as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. And since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moshe, whom Yahuwah knew face to face, nor all the signs and wonders which Yahuwah sent him to do in the land of Mitzrayim before Pharaoh and before all his servants and in all his land. And for all that strong hand and all the great fearsome deeds which Moshe did before the eyes of all Yisrael. And when we finish the book, we say, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Kazek. Be strong, be strong, be strong, and may we be strengthened. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. So we finished the Torah. Hallelujah. The Torah. Hallelujah. 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 One year reading. Um, we use we have a um, schedule on our website where we start in Genesis bare sheet and we read through Debarim, which is Deuteronomy, in the course of a year. And this time of year at Sukkot, we finish um, the, the, the Torah, the books of the Torah. Yah is the greatest. Yes. Hallelujah. And on Simchat Torah, we'll rejoice over the Torah. Yes. And thank him for it. And that's, that's the seventh day, eighth day. Right. Praise, Praise Yah. Yah. Now I want to read from uh, Vayikra 23, um, 34 to 43. Speak to the children of Israel, saying, On the fifteenth day of the, this seventh month is the festival of booths for seven days to Yahuwah. On the first day of the set-apart gathering, you do no serve our work. For seven days you bring an offering made by fire to Yahuwah. On the eighth day there shall be a set-apart gathering for you, and you shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahuwah. It is the closing festival. You do no serve our work. These are the appointed times of Yahuwah, which you proclaim as set-apart gatherings, to bring an offering made by fire to Yahuwah, a burnt offering and a grain offering, a slaughtering and a drink offering, as commanded for every day, besides the Sabbaths of Yahuwah, and besides your gifts, and besides all your vows, and besides all your voluntary offerings, which you give to Yahuwah. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you gather in the fruit of the land, observe the festival of Yahuwah for seven days. On the first day is a rest, and on the eighth day you rest. And you shall take for yourselves on the first day the fruit of good trees, branches of palm trees, twigs of leafy trees, and willows of the stream, and shall rejoice before Yahuwah, your Elohim, for seven days. And you shall observe it as a festival to Yahuwah for seven days in the year, a law forever in your generations. Observe it, for in, observe it in the seventh month. Dwell in booths for seven days, all who are native Israelites dwell in booths, so that your generations know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim. I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Yeah. And then I want to finish with uh, Dave Reem, chapter 16, 13 through 17. Perform the festival of booths for seven days after the ingathering from your threshing floor and from your wine press. And you shall rejoice in your festival, you and your son 
and your daughter and your male servant and your female servant and the Levite and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow who are within your gates. For seven days you observe a festival to Yahuwah your Elohim in the place which Yahuwah chooses because Yahuwah your Elohim does bless you in all your increase and in all the work of your hands and you shall only be rejoicing. Praise Yahuwah. Three times a year, all your males appear before Yahweh your Elohim in the place which he chooses, at the festival of unleavened bread, at the festival of weeks, and at the festival of booths. And none should appear before Yahweh empty-handed, but each one with the gift of his hand, according to the blessing of Yahweh your Elohim, which he has given you. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah. So it's the festival of tabernacles, the booth. Booths where the Gentiles are invited. Yes. According to Zechariah 14. And, and blessed, yes. And blessed. Uh-huh. The after wow. Torah blessing. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, Elohim sovereign, sovereign of the universe, universe who has given us a Torah, Torah of truth, truth and, and a plan of eternal life in our midst. Blessed, blessed are you, Yahuwah, giver of, of the Torah. Torah. Hallelujah. 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 Well, this is a beautiful time to celebrate Yah's goodness. Um, our, our history as a people before Yahuwah, it begins and ends with him. He's really our, he really is our history. Yahuwah is our history. Mm -hmm. And so um, as our history, we know where we came from, where we are, and where we're going. Mm -hmm. It's all in Yah. He's, he's directing uh, history in his direction. Mm -hmm. We're moving toward him. Yes. And we look at the three feasts, uh, Passover. It's when Yahuwah uh, released us and brought us out of slavery from the land of Mitzrayim. Mm -hmm. um, and then you look at uh, Shavuot. The festival of weeks is where he brought us to Mount Sinai and he gave us his law, mm -hmm. his Torah. Uh, to live by. Yeah. And then at Sukkot, uh, he dwelled with us and led us through the wilderness and brought us into the promised land. Mm. So we have these three feasts that really mark our history as a people, okay. as Yah's people. He delivered us, he gave us his law, mm -hmm. and he dwelt with us and led us and brought us into our land. Please. And so these are three important things in our history that um, has happened to us as a people. Mm -hmm. And really it's a history for the world because we're a light to the world. That's and right. in order to share anything, we have to share Yah. That's and right. um, it's his, what he's doing in our lives that's important. Now in the last two weeks, we've had three feast days. And these feast days are not just for ourselves, um, mm -hmm. but for the, for the whole world. For the whole world. Um, on Yom Teruah, on Rosh Hashanah, we, we crown Yahuwah as our king, as our sovereign. Mm -hmm. The whole world needs to make, to proclaim Yahuwah, their sovereign. The, the whole world. Um, That's right. And it's it's for the, the world to proclaim him mm -hmm. as their sovereign. Mm -hmm. And then at Yom Kippur, we ask Yah to atone for us, to forgive us. Mm -hmm. But not just for our sins, but for the sins of the world. Mm -hmm that Yah would blot out the sins of the world and not destroy the, the world and not destroy the people, yes. but to forgive them. Yes. And then finally at Sukkot, um, we thank Yah for all the blessings and provisions in our lives thank and you. for all the care that he's given us. And then we ask him to continue to bless and sustain the world and all the peoples in yes. his ultimate kindness. And that's the reason for our rejoicing. He does yeah. that. He does that for the whole world. Yes. And uh, and that, those were the, the, the meaning of the 70 bulls for the offerings. One bull for each country, each nation. Mm -hmm. And Yahuwah made sure that Israel prayed and asked Yah to bless the whole world at Praise this time. Yeah. So this is an exciting time of rejoicing, mm -hmm. of celebrating, and really of knowing that Yah is reaching out to the world. We're the all whole world mm -hmm. to bring us in as one, his people, Same. his nation. And so we celebrate this and we dwell in booths. Mm -hmm. We dwell in our little sukkah. Um, mm -hmm. And so um, 
to remind us that we're temporary dwellers and that Yah temporarily dwells with us mm -hmm. to lead us and to bring us into our promised land. Mm -hmm. And all his provisions, all that he provides for us, we're thankful for everything that he does Hallelujah. for us. And so this is that time to take, take time to thank him. Sit in your sukkah and thank Yah for all mm -hmm. his provisions, all the goodness that he's given you in our life. Just take this time, these seven days, this week, eight days, into rejoicing before Yahuwah. We have much to rejoice and thank Him for. Just take time to think about it. And then we'll, we build a sukkah, mm -hmm. which is a little booth, a little hut. And I mm -hmm. guess the tradition is to leave your house to live in the booth, dwell in the booth. And it's, that's a humbling thing. Mm -hmm. um, you, 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 you're not so... Um, so involved in your big home, um, you remember the humbleness of the beginning mm -hmm. where they lived in sukkahs, in booth, That's right. in the wilderness. So it's, it's a remembrance um, to humble ourselves and know that we didn't bring anything in this world and we don't take anything out of this world. Um, even when we live wealthy in this world, when we die, we now can take anything with us. So it's a humble beginning. Just live in a hut. Just live um, close to Yah. We can see the sky and see outside. Just to, to remember mm -hmm. his goodness and he dwells in us, with us. Um, I look at um, Sukkot also as a time for community. You know, if everyone dwelling in booths, um, is the community, and the community uh, involves really all the people, all the people, and of all the festivals, only festival of Tabernacle or Sukkot um, is the one that we spoke about in Zechariah 14 that tells um, of the invitation that for the Gentiles to come, and how the Gentiles are to keep the feast or festival of booth or festival of tabernacles. Um, because when the Gentiles keep it, Yah, you, 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 you're telling Yah that I'm going to obey you. He didn't, he didn't say at Yom Teruah for the Gentiles, you keep this or plague will be upon you. He didn't say it for Rosh Hashanah. He didn't say it for Yom Kippur. But he says it for Sukkot. Why does he say it for Sukkot? Because this is the tabernacle time. This is the time where the communities come together. Um, even though we see today in our communities, it's, it's, it's terrible um, to see the fires just raging um, out west. And I was looking at the news um, to, earlier today and the weatherman was showing all the haze. He, he said, you see all the haze that's over here? It's kind of blocking out beautiful sunlight today. Look at the haze. He said, that's the smoke coming from out west. The smoke has reached us on the east. That's how much burning that's going on in the west. Mm -hmm. It's reached us, you know? And people are crying because at this time of Sukkot, Many of them are without a dwelling place. Mm -hmm. Many of them are having to dwell in booths, so to speak, temporary shelter, in RVs and campers, because hotels, because they have no homes. What's going on here? You know? And, and to me, Yahoo is in charge of everything. And we were praying um, that Yah. Please, in your compassion, Father, please send the rain or put out the fire. Somehow let the fire stop. I think he wants the people to know that he is the master, the sovereign in charge of everything in this world. Yahuwah alone is sovereign of the world. JC and all Muhammad and all these other um, people, no, no. Yahuwah is his name. He is the creator of the universe. He made the heavens and the earth, and he is in charge of it all. It is him. 
He's the sovereign. It isn't President Trump, nor will it ever be Biden. It's Yahuwah who is presiding over his people. He wants his people to be in unity. When we read about the four um, species that come together at the Festival of Tabernacle, mm -hmm. you got that, Mike? Can mm -hmm. you say that again? The four species that um, that co that comes together at at this time. There we are to gather these gather these four um, branches: the yeah. astrog, which is a citron fruit, fruit of good trees, fruit of good trees, branches of palm trees, branches of palm trees, twigs of leafy trees, twigs of leafy trees, and willows of the stream, and willows of the stream. So. We have behind us here, we don't have an egg straw because I didn't get one ordered. So we have a pear just sitting in its looks place. Like it. But it looks like it. It is this little yellow thing here. And we've got uh, um, the leafy trees. We got the palm branch. We got the willow and, and the myrtle. Um, when they bring these branches together, they're supposed to bind it together. And in binding it, what's the meaning of binding these four things together? Huh? What it is, all I heard, well, I did hear a teaching um, that caught my eyes the other day, and I have not, um, I, I've not uh, taught it like this before. The four branches, okay? The astrog, which is the fruit of the um, um, citron tree, the fruit of the good tree. good tree, okay, it has a good smell to it, okay? When the branches smells good, that, that represents the um, keeping of the midfold. When it have a good smell, it represents the midfold. In other words, the teachings of the law. It represents... Right. And when we are pleasing to you, when we do his commands, it's yeah. pleasing to him. It's, it's pleasing to him. to him. So it's a good smell. Um, it's a good smell when we keep the mitzvah, right. when we keep his laws and obey them. Right. And then when the, the taste, when it tastes good, that means we study the Torah. Mm -hmm. And the, when you study the Torah... The words have a good taste. Right. You're tasting of the word. Right. You're studying life. You're studying the Torah. You're taking in all that which you're learning, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the taste and, and the smell is when you do them. You taste it. You're studying the Torah. You're engaged in Torah, right? And then you smell it is when you obey the Torah. Mm -hmm. Makes the smell sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mitzvot makes it sweet. So the mitzvot are the laws, Yah's laws and commandments of the Torah. So we're going to break down these um, four species that we are commanded to gather. The estrog, all right, that's the fruit mm -hmm. um, of the good fruit from the good trees, right? Okay. It's got a good smell, and it's got a good taste. Okay. Okay? So that means that's the personalities. That's part of the community that are studying this Torah and keeping his mitzvah and obeying. They're studying and obeying because of the good taste and a good smell. So the astronauts are the people Doing the will of Yahuwah. Wow. Now you got the palm branches. The palm branches are lulav. Okay? The palm has a good um, taste, but not a good smell. Or no smell at all. This, it doesn't have a smell, but it has a good taste. That means um, it smells good. That means these are the people or the community, the personalities who are good at studying the Torah, right? It has, um, it has 
Oh, you have good taste. That in the Torah, but they don't really do the mix for it. Not a good smell. Not a good smell. <clears throat> so they they can they study the word or they read the word, but they don't take it in so that they put it into action. Mm -hmm. They don't put the word into action. So the mitzvah don't get that. Like they, they study and read about Yom um, Teruah, but they do nothing to observe it. He said, let this be a day of rest, meaning keep it set apart. They read that, but then they was going to work like it's just another day. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But they did read it, so they did know it, but they didn't carry it out. So it tastes good, but no smell. Right. Okay? That's the lulav. The myrtle has a good smell, but no taste. Um, just the opposite. That's the opposite. <laughs> they do the mitzvah, but they don't gauge themselves in the Torah. The Torah. Yeah. They might do the mitzvah because it is taught and it's by tradition. Mm -hmm. um, so they're in the community where they're learning that um, tradition, but they don't engage in studying the right. laws, the Torah, his commands. Um, they have just the opposite from the other ones. See, Yaz, these are personalities in the community. Then we've got um, the willow. willow. The willow tree um, has no taste nor no smell. You think that's why the willow go whoop? <laughs> and they're called the weeping willow, so to speak. Some of them, some type of willow. But they have no smell, no taste. Those are the personalities, the people in the communities that don't engage in Torah, don't study it, nor do any mitzvah. They don't do none of the um, tradition um, according to the word. They don't study it. Many of them just don't know and not um, engage themselves to do it, not bother themselves to do it. So that's the willow um, branch. So we have the willow branch, no smell, no taste. Don't do anything. You got the myrtle, which have um, a good smell. They keep the um, mixful, keep tra under tradition, more or less, and but don't study the Torah. Then you got the palm branch, who study the Torah, um, but don't keep the mixful. Did I get that right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and the estrad does both. The sweetness of Yah. Sweet smell, sweet taste. Um, those are personalities that study, engage in Torah, and do the mikvah, the obedience of Yah, and kept everything going. Yah is the greatest. Mm -hmm. So what do we have here? We have from the astrog to the will. We have those who keep his laws and his commands wrap up with those who do not. Because he said, bind them, these, if all the, when you um, purchase these things, if you order them, they all, they're bind up together. You know? Why are they bind up together? These are personalities in a community. Okay? In our communities, we got some of all of this. Some of the people that knows his laws and study his, 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 his commandments and do them. Then we got people who just works and don't even care. But yet, we bind them all up together at the festival of Tabernacle at Sukkot. Why? Because this is the time the Gentiles come in. Because when you bind up all these personalities together, all these plants, all these together, what the message is, I've got your back. Hmm. The palm, the, the astrology, he got everybody, right? The, um, the, um, the palm branch, well, I don't do um, the Torah. Half yeah, right. Half right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that's the word for it. Every and, 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 the, myrtle. and the myrtle, half right. But they the complement right. each other. The other half right. The other half right. See? So you see how they complement mm -hmm. each other? And then the willows in there who don't do anything, he's weeping. <laughs> but he's right in there 
and twined up together. Wow! This is why the Gentiles must come to the festival of tabernacle and must know Yah because you, you're gathering with all these people under one roof. When you twine together under one roof, this, and Yah presiding over us. So it's like an umbrella. You come to the Sukkot, you, Sukkot, you come to his tabernacle. Then rather not you doing the laws or not, you're in his tabernacle, you are covered. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? It is. Yah has a plan for each one of his people. Each one of his people. All of these are his creation. Whether they keep the laws or not, they're still his. Because many of the Gentiles who don't study the Torah, who don't keep his laws, remember now, if they sin, most of their sins are unintentional because they don't understand them. They don't even know some of the sins that they no. do, so they can't repent of something you don't know, and, and, and you can't even um, um, do Teshuvah for you don't know it. So, Yah is a judge, and he's compassionate. He is. And at this time of year, he overlooks it. Hallelujah. So we are covered when we are in the community with everybody. And somebody in this community are keeping his, somebody, some people, they are keeping his laws, his Torah, and his commandments. Mm -hmm. And you can look at that in a family, oh, too. Yeah. Most of our family... They have not come to the Torah. A lot of them are Christians in the New Testament. They don't understand the Old Testament. They don't understand the laws that you are to obey them forever. They don't understand it. But we, the redeemed ones, are, are the heads of our family. Bound up with them. And we bound up with them. And Yah save you. And he saves them. That's right. Hallelujah. He saved them. Those who are in disobedience because in his community together, he pardons all. Hallelujah. He pardons all. He is awesome. This is why Sukkot is important to the Gentiles because all together in the community, all the personalities come together to be one people obeying Yahuwah the Most High. He is the sovereign of the universe. He is the Most High. He alone is to be praised forever. He is our sovereign and He is presiding over us. He is presiding over us. And with Him, our umbrella, and all of us within that umbrella, He will protect. He will grant peace. He will grant life. He will grant good health. He will grant provision. He will redeem us all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That Hallelujah. is so great. That's this is why the rejoice. Gentiles have to come in. Hallelujah. In all of our mitzvot, all of our Torah study, it means something. It means something. Because it protects the rest. The it's earth. teaching, uh, that's right. It's teaching yeah. us to obey him and then we got everybody else covered Hallelujah. who's not doing it. Thank you. Yah. Because we're obedient, Yah gives us that. Yes. He gives us that gift of obedience. And this way, we can save all the heathen out there who are riding alongside us. He put us together. He put us together. And he saves us all. He saves Thank us God. all. He uses his own to save all the rest. Hallelujah. Yah is incredibly good. So wonderful and so kind. Pray some people Praise because you are safe. You. Your family is safe. Some of the women say their husband not safe. Their husband not. No, no, no. If your husband's with you and you have the Torah, you have the word, he is safe. His family is safe. Yah is the greatest Thank because you. he is that compassionate, that awesome, that kind. Hallelujah for this Sukkot. He is Savior Gentiles, of the world. you are safe. Yahweh is Savior of the world. Savior of the no world. Other. And there's no other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Thank Yah. You. Yeah, you wanted to pray for them. Yes.
Yeah, you can want to thank, thank you. Yah for all the Sukkot offerings that'll be coming in, that have come in, and each day this this week make an offering. Do thank something you. for someone. Do the praises too. Do the praises. And and we thank you thank you, for obedience to do your offerings and bring your offerings. Thank you, Father. Uh, that are required, that are requested, that will bless us. Thank, we thank you, you Yah, for opportunities to bring offerings to you, you Yah. To thank you for all that you're doing, all that thank you've done, you, yeah. all that you will do for us and for everyone. Thank you, for this Father. whole entire world. Thank so you. Thank yeah. you and bless you for your bless offerings. Bless you, Yah. So be it. So be it. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I want to yeah. say the blessing, and then we'll blow the shofar, and we'll say Hag Sameach. Hag Sameach. Happy Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. And rejoice. We thank you. Rejoice. Our, our rejoicing began. You don't have to worry about your family not being safe. 25 years thank ago. Thank you, yeah. It was our first Sukkot. We went to Jerusalem. 25 years ago. And Ben was 20 months, a little guy. Yeah. But he went with us, and it was really a time of rejoicing. It was a time. And when we saw that full moon come up over the salt sea, wow, it's just yeah, beautiful. It was awesome. It was the beginning of Sukkot. Hallelujah. The festival of our rejoicing. Thank you, Yah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Thank you, Father, Yah. A priestly blessing for you all. Yivareka, Yahuwah v'ishmireka. Yahuwah bless you and guard you. Can you he rocks on, so may it be. Ya er ya u upon a baleka vikuneka. Ya will make his face shine upon you and show favor to you. Can you he rocks on, so may it be. Ye sa ya u upon a baleka viasimaka shalom. Ya u lift up his face upon you and give you peace. Can you he rocks on, so may it be. And we bless the name of Ya u and rejoice before Thank him. Thank you, Ya. Forever and ever. Forever. Hallelujah. Yah. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Thank you, Yah. Bless you, Yahweh. Blessed be your name. <laughs>